Okay, let's go ahead and determine the surface area of this pyramid. And uh, pyramids are awesome shapes. Of course, you have the actual pyramids in Egypt. That's something I would love to see one day. Just the, uh, the mathematics and engineering that it, uh, it took to build the pyramids is just phenomenal. But uh, here, uh, our task of finding the surface area of this particular pyramid is going to pale in comparison to actually building one of those huge real-life pyramids, okay? Uh, and it's going to be so much easier than uh, constructing a pyramid because we have this lovely formula that we just have to follow uh, to determine the surface area of a pyramid. Okay, now of course we're going to do this particular uh, example problem, but this formula applies for any problem where we're talking about the surface area of a pyramid. So we're going to get into this in just one second, but first let me go ahead and quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabba Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over many years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Now, whether you need to take a full online comprehensive math class, uh, I can offer that to you, or if you need assistance um, in a class that you're uh, taking or you're struggling with, my math help, uh, program can help you. Okay, so in my program, you'll find complete, full, comprehensive lessons on all topics, you know, uh, various levels of mathematics, and I actually show you how to solve thousands of problems. Okay, so that's, you know, nothing's more frustrating to a student to be given a bunch of problems and a basic answer key and not knowing how those problems were solved to get to that answer. That's why it's taken me years to build my program where I go through each problem in uh, detail, okay, all video-based to show you, demonstrate how to solve these problems. Now, one thing that you need to be doing as a math student, I'm assuming you are learning math if you're interested in watching this video, is be taking great math notes. Now, over decades of, of learning or uh, teaching math, I've learned one golden rule, and that is that those students who take great math notes almost always have great math grades, and the reverse is true. So if you take a look at your notes and you just take an honest assessment, and are they maybe a little bit sloppy, disorganized, or could you give your notes to somebody that, you know, it's not studying math, and could they understand what's going on? Okay, so uh, yeah, if the answer is no, well, then you need to improve on your math notes. Most students, there's room for improvement. There's only few, very few minority of students that I think are just excellent natural note takers, okay? But most students, there's room for improvement. Some students just need to start taking any kind of form of notes. But in the meantime, you know, if you've been studying math, you know, you need something to study from. So I actually offer notes, very comprehensive and detailed. Those would include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find a link to those in the description of this video. But um, let's get into this problem, okay? So here is a pyramid and we want to find the surface area of the pyramid. So it would be nice to uh, review the concept of surface area. What are we talking about here, right? So remember, when you're studying this kind of um, area and volume concepts, we have area, then we have surface area, and then we have uh, volume, okay? So the area is like, let's say I have a rectangle and I want to just find out how much coverage space here. Uh, that is the area. So we have formulas for this stuff, like a rectangle. It's like the length times width. So the area, we just, again, would be the length times width. But one of the things that I stress in um, other related videos when I'm talking about area or surface area volume is the proper units of measure. Okay. So area or units of measure will be units squared. Okay. Like inches squared, feet squared. Here, this little two little hashes like that. Uh, we're talking about inches. So this is four inches. That's four inches. This is six inches. Okay. Now, surface area is a an area type of exercise. Okay. Now, the surface area of this pyramid, for example, is just think about how much wrapping paper you would need. Let's say this is a present. You wanted to, you know, give this to somebody. How much wrapping paper will, you know, would you need? Well, you would need enough to cover this side you would need enough to cover this side of the pyramid. Now, if we look carefully, uh, how many sides, of, you know, what's going to go on? Let's just figure out how many sides we have, right? So I have a side here, this front side. I have a side there, okay? These look like triangles. Also, I have one back here, right? And I have one right there. So there's four sides that look like these little triangles. 
So I'm like, okay, I have a triangle there, a triangle there, a triangle there, and a triangle there. So I would need to find the individual area of each of these sides, okay? So now I'm account for the sides of the pyramid, but I also have this little like base here, right? So I'll kind of draw it like this, this little square thing that the pyramid sits, you know, sits on top. So underneath here, I have a base uh, and that is like a square, okay? So I gotta find the area of that. So if I find the area of this and the area of all these little uh, triangles that, you know, uh, you know, is part of the construction of this pyramid, I will have found the surface area. So really our formula is just basically a fancy way of describing do this. Go go ahead and you know find the area of all these little triangles here, one triangle there, one triangle there. And hopefully you know how to find the area of a triangle. Area equals one half base times height. So if you didn't know how to, if you didn't know the formula to, uh, for the surface area of a pyramid, you could still figure this problem out, okay? Because you should know that how to find the area of a triangle. You gotta know something, right? You gotta know like some basic areas of rectangles and triangles. These things should be in your long-term memory. So uh, as long as you understand the concept of surface area and what, what it represents, and you have knowledge of these basic things, you can be like, okay, if I just find the area of this, and then I got this other side, it's gonna be the same dimensions, and then I can find the base, well, then I can, uh, you know, determine the total surface area of the pyramid. And that's exactly what we're going to do now. Of course, we got a nice, beautiful formula to summarize what I just said here. So here it is. Okay, the surface area is equal to N. N is the number of sides, okay, of this pyramid. Okay, so I imagine a pyramid, actually, I have to think about this for a second, can have more sides than four. Well, in this case, our pyramid has four sides, okay? So it has one side there, one side there, one side there, one side there. So that's what it is, okay? So it's four sides, okay? Then one half base times length. So L is gonna be the length of the side. So basically, it's like the height of this triangle here, okay? So the length of the side, this is the side of the pyramid, but it's really the height of this triangle, and that is gonna be six, okay? B is the base, the length of the base. That's going to be four, okay? But it, again, what we're really doing here is finding the area of this one side of this, this triangle here, which is one of four triangles that represent this pyramid, okay? And then we have the area of the base, which is 16. Now, the base, again, is this little, like, uh, square down here, okay, that this whole thing sits on top, top of, so... That would be four times four. Okay, it's just a square, which is 16. Okay, so we're going to add that to uh, um, this formula, right? So this would be four. Okay, and then we're going to plug in one half b times l, right? So b is four times uh, six, and we take one half of that, and then we'll add the area of the base, which is 16. All right, but this is all this is doing is effectively saying, hey, what is the area? of one triangle here, okay? And how many triangles do you have? We have four, okay? And we're gonna multiply, and we're gonna find the area of one triangle, multiply by how many total triangles we have, and oh, by the way, don't forget the area of the base, all right? That's what we're doing here, okay? So, you gotta know how to interpret these um, formulas. They're not that difficult. All right, so here's our uh, uh, formula for the surface area of a pyramid. So remember, n is the number of sides of uh, in our pyramid. That's four, one half base times length. So the base, remember that side here again was four, and then the length, okay, is six. All right, plus the area of the base, right? That's our little square down here is four times four or sixteen. Okay. All right, now let's just go ahead and just do the number crunching here. So four times six is 24, divide that by two. I'm gonna get uh, 12, okay? So that's gonna be four times 12 plus 16. Four times 12 is 48 plus 16 is 64. But 64, what inches squared? Remember, we're dealing with these things here, all right? These little, uh, like four, what does that mean? Well, this is four inches. Sometimes you'll see it like that. Um, but you got to know basic units of measure. What is this? 
Okay, well that's a terrible thing. Let me just do this this way for like that. Okay, this is just common notation. This is four feet. Okay, but again, if our units are all in inches, our answer, our answer in surface area or area is going to be inches squared. Do not forget the units of measure because this is not a trivial thing. And your uh, uh, good math teachers out there that you're taking math from will dock your points. If you just gave me uh, 64 and you didn't uh, give me inches squared, and this, let's say this question was worth 10 points, I might give you an 8 out of 10. And then you would do this, or then you would be angry. Well, one of these kind of expressions would be the case. Maybe this one right here, you'd be like, ah, you know, but they would be like, why is that so unfair? I had the right answer. But listen, I'm asking for the surface area. The surface area is conceptually involves units, okay, units of measure, okay. And of course, you know, I'm not a mean math teacher. I would emphasize 50 times over Make sure you put the units of measure in. If you don't put the units of measure in, I'm going to dock you points, et cetera, et cetera. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't forget. Now, listen, it's those students who are paying attention, writing this stuff down in their what? In their notes, okay? They're writing this stuff down. And that's why note-taking is so critical, okay? Your teacher is saying stuff. you got to be like, all those little details, put that in your notes. They're giving you hints of what's going to be on the test and quiz, what's important, what's not as important. That's why note-taking is evidence of you focusing and paying attention, okay? Absolutely. Um, you know, hopefully, look, there's a lot of things I can't do. One thing I can do is teach math pretty well because I've been doing it for such a long time, and I've seen uh, these patterns and trends play out over the years, okay? you If you have a problem focusing, if you take, if your objective is, like, I need to make, great notes. I got to pay attention. It forces that discipline. Okay. And you can just tell, you just can't have great, fantastic notes by not paying attention. Okay. So all these little things, you know, I kind of reward those students and be like, yeah, you know, I knew you were paying attention and you threw in those inches squared units of measure. All right. So enough of that. Again, you know, when it comes to uh, surface area, volume, those things, you're going to, for these, you know, kind of basic figures, but pyramid being one of those, you always have some sort of formula. But even if you forgot the formula, if you understand the concept, we could be like, mm, okay, how much, how much wrapping paper? Well, I got to figure out the area of this triangle. I can do that. Here's the, uh, the height and the, the base area of a triangle. And I got one, two, three, four triangles. And this is a square down here. You know, this is what I'm kind of communicating to you. Don't always have to remember the formula because there is a huge amount of formulas in mathematics. Okay, so if this video helped you out, if you enjoyed it even in a small way, please consider smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel and have not yet become a subscriber, I hope that you will become a subscriber because I'm posting new math material all the time. If you really like my teaching style, I'm teaching stuff all the time. Um, basic math to uh, advanced math. I've already have hundreds and hundreds of videos on my channel currently because I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years at the time of this particular video. Those videos are there for you. Okay, I love teaching math. I want to help you out. So if you like the way I teach, there's a lot of uh, resources there for you. But if you want my best stuff, go ahead and follow the link links in the description of this video. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.